guys this is kenzo extra hot forex it's thursday so let's go straight to nasdaq us 30 and gold so we can see that uh, nasdaq is still playing around our support guys uh, which is a good thing uh, but if you check here you can see that this is a four hour time frame you can see that you can see here it's a four hour time frame and when you watch closely you can see we have a very nice line here which means we can get the market around this area which it can be like 13,790 somewhere there so it's where i think the market can maybe bounce from those areas you see why because just look at here the market was just respecting this area after we have a breakout we saw that the market still respected this area i'm talking about four hour time frame so it means that if we go uh, to a bit smaller time frame it means this area is going to be much much clearer because we will see multiple candlesticks uh, doing their thing you see so let me start with maybe two hours so that we can see or even one hour is much better just check that i hope you can see that that the market since we had this this is a fake breakout you can see the market is still respecting this area even if maybe here we might have another pullback before we can have a uh, another like bullish momentum I think the market can still do that but it's a very nice area to have that nice buy around here you see but i don't think maybe there's much that i don't have to confuse you know what uh, you have to do in forex guys uh, sometimes you just have to be a player and a spectator it means you have to watch yourself playing at the same time you have to coach yourself because if you just uh, you are consumed in the game sometimes you won't see other things so the best thing is just be multiple just be on a multiple positions at once because if you just want to be only player it means the this market industry is going to consume you then you won't see anything you're going to use your emotions and stuff like that so you're going to lose even if you're a good trader so a good trader is not uh, only about drawing these lines and whatever a good trader is a disciplined trader you see something like that so on nasdaq i don't think maybe there's much i've been also waiting for the market to reach this area but i see that the market maybe will not reach that so i will just wait for 13790 or we can just get in and just wait for it it should be i know before the market opens the market can be slow then which is fine because we know that then it's a good time for us to enter here we will just wait for the market to push higher you see so if that doesn't happen it's where maybe we will say maybe maybe the market will drop maybe the market will break this support and go lower which will also it's also a good thing because it means we're still going to have another buy momentum here you see but it means i'm not going to take that sell why because still i'm still bullish on nasdaq until we until it breaks those uh, support that i'm i'm uh, that i already drawn before on like monthly time frame so from there i'm not going to sell unless if those supports are broken i hope you understand that so the overview for today is let's wait for the next deck maybe to reach a little bit here or you can get in this is the overview for today but if that overview is broken or is if it's not followed i'll think maybe we will see a breakout here and if it breaks out maybe it can just consolidate around before even reaching this area but we will see that maybe on a tomorrow's uh, 
daily analysis but i don't think that maybe it will happen today but everything is possible guys so here i think it's where maybe we'll see another a push up because since we've broken this area the market is still playing around here it means when we see that push up is going to happen very quick and you will say i missed the market and i saw everything which is something that happens every day we miss them sometimes you see most of the time we miss good opportunities but we also get other ones because sometimes here we'll just pro procrastinate here and say maybe it will reach this area or whatever then the market just shoots up why because i think the market i can't say the market knows but mostly us traders we're just waiting for those perfect entries sometimes we don't get in then the market can just push up and we were just waiting here and which is painful and which is good why because we don't just have to take each and every trade sometimes other days we don't even trade which is good but if you trade every day especially on one thing i think maybe you have uh, some problems because opportunities they won't just come every day you're just inviting uh, maybe let's say opportunity to lose the more you trade more just know that if maybe let's say you lose 20 percent it means that 20 percent is going to come very quick just because you are always in the you're always on the market you see sometimes you have to relax that's why i said sometimes you should be a player mostly at the moment since you are retail traders we are players but at the same time you should watch a game on a different space as like you are not a player on the other side you should be your manager while you are a player so it means you should be on both sides you see you should replace yourself you should do anything you should change the position you should do this you are now a coach you are now a player you are now a fan if you're doing something wrong obviously it means you are not doing something right even i'm not saying you should not lose losing is part of the game you see so they may not preach much let's go straight to uh, us 30 and see exactly what is happening before we finish with uh, gold okay uh, now it's interesting i see that uh, on us 30 you can see that we already on another support that we were talking about we were preaching about so it means it seems like it doesn't really respect this one let me remove that it doesn't really respect that one here it's a four hour time frame i just like to talk about this why when i say it's a four hour time frame if maybe you're also analyzing so that you can be on the same page with me so let's try to connect this 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 and this and also this if we try to connect them i think maybe we can be on the same level let me remove this and try to draw another one so actually you should take your time when you analyze why because one mistake uh, your account is losing so it means you should always be vigilant when you do your analysis don't be in a hurry it's just that here it's like a daily analysis i just have to make things quicker so that you can understand uh, maybe just an overview actually you can see this here the market is connecting or oh, let me just use something like this so that you can see mm, sorry what something like that you can see that here we having a very nice support from these areas but remember sometimes we can have those fake breakers like this one even if this is a support so what i'm seeing here now is something like this you can see that so the market is really respecting this area but we were on a bearish momentum it means on a smaller time frame the market was just going low but on a bigger time frame you can see actually we reached 
our support so let's start to maybe let's go to a bit smaller time frame which is two hours uh i think it's still the same yeah i think everything's just the same so the best thing is you should know where you should enter i think maybe we're supposed to enter around here i also send the signal for the entries for this entries i think maybe day before yesterday i don't know if my guys really did enter on this one or not but if not i'm thinking we should take it because we are on a very nice 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 position where the market will just shoot after this if not the market will just break this area but uh, as we use probabilities you can see you see one the market pushed up two the market pushed up three the market pushed up i can also count this one you can see so even here there's possibility that the market can push up you see we're not saying that we are 100 percent but we have a very nice probability that every time when the market reaches this area the market pushes higher you see so that's why i say if maybe you were waiting if you were waiting with me maybe for several days two days back at least now you're happy the market is there now we're just waiting to have that nice buy and the market maybe can push up if not then it's fine it will hit our stop loss we know that actually you should know how much you want to lose before you even trade it's nice it's very nice when you know how much you're going to lose before you even place a trade but if you are a gambler you just place your buy 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 here then when the market goes against you you lose everything you start to complain why because you were just gambling you see so let's try to go to an gold here we can the overview for today is around this zone the market can push up if maybe that if it still respects this area if not maybe we'll see another rejection but at the moment we're looking for that nice buy you see uh, then let's go straight to gold guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button just smash it don't click it just smash it like it share with your friends let's grow the channel and as i used to say thanks to everyone who is already subscribed thank you very much guys i really appreciate it so on gold it's something like this i have drawn this that's why i don't remove because i don't remove these lines because they still make sense i gave my people sell somewhere here maybe some of them are already out but i gave them this uh, signal for them to sell but i can see it's still pushing lower unfortunately sometimes the market won't just uh, run or dip every day the market will just move slowly move slowly something like that you see why the market is recovering very slowly but sometimes when you forgot you can just sell here a few seconds or a few minutes later you will find the market around here so it means we have to take these opportunities like this because sometimes we don't know we can have a very nice moves like this or very nice moves like this sometimes we get this choppy ones which sometimes you get into ten dollars thirteen dollars back to ten dollars negative five dollars get back into profit so you get you, sometimes you you just getting fed up and think maybe now it's too much maybe the market won't pull uh, won't sell off again once you close the market just sell off mostly things happen like that why because it's playing with your emotions so that's why i just like to open position and close the chart and do something different which is very nice because i know that i have my stop loss somewhere here maybe i know that okay if i lose i'm only losing only maybe 50 dollars which is nice because there's no surprise but if you're trading without the stop losses, it means you are always the market will always surprise you. You will learn every day. You won't stop learning. It means you will learn like every day. So when will you apply uh, the knowledge that you have? You see, so stop learning every day and apply the knowledge that you have. Don't say I'm learning every day. It's fine to learn every day, but try to apply the knowledge that you you try that you learned a few days ago that we say do this 
try to do that you will see things work but if you don't do that and say things they don't do whatever they whatever they don't work it means you don't follow those things because we follow those things we lose but when we make money we always make money we always recover so thank you guys uh, thank you guys for watching i think we will see the other one tomorrow uh, yesterday i think my volume was very low guys my volume was very low i don't know maybe there was something with my microphone thanks to the guy who said that the volume was very low i also had that but since we had a load shading i i was not able to do another video so don't forget to smash that subscribe button this is kenzo extra hot forex bow